preserved and once provided seating for 12,000 people and featured a high stage, which was meant to isolate the audience from everything else, the rest of the world. It was built by Zanon, a Greek architect who was native to Aspendos, and it measured just 315 feet in diameter. It once featured a reflective, sloped wooden ceiling, but considering wood isn't the most durable of materials, it was lost over time. It served as more than just a theater in its lifetime as well, at times acting as an inn for travelers, and at one point, the Seljuk of Rome used it as a small palace. It is still used during the Aspendos International Opera and Ballet Festival throughout the spring and early summer. It's the main reason people visit the area every year, and its importance in understanding the acoustics of ancient theaters is excellent. 9. Alanya Castle This incredible castle sits tucked up on a peninsula in Alanya, which overlooks the Mediterranean Sea and protects the castle from three sides. It is built on the remnants of old fortifications from the Roman and Byzantine eras and rests 820 feet high on the peninsula. And when it was built, it was a purely defensive fortification. Then, when the 